एयरक्राफ्ट इन्वर्टर इज ए डिवाइस विच कन्वर्ट्स अ पोर्सन ऑफ डीसी पावर इंटू एसी पावर एंड दैट एसी पावर इज सप्लाई टू द एयरक्राफ्ट इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स रेडियो रडार लाइटनिंग एंड अदर एयरक्राफ्ट एक्सेसरीज हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम हियर विद वन एंड अदर एविशन रिलेटेड वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज बेस्ड ऑन एयरक्राफ्ट इन्वर्टर्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट टाइप ऑफ इन्वर्टर्स एंड एप्लीकेशन ऑफ इन्वर्टर इन एयरक्राफ्ट विच इन्वर्टर इज मोस्टली यूज एंड वाई सो इन्वर्टर इज द डिवाइस विच कन्वर्ट्स डीसी इंटू ए सी एंड दैट ए सी पावर इज सप्लाई टू द इसेंशियल सर्विसेज इन आवर एयरक्राफ्ट डिफरेंट इसेंशियल सर्विसेज लाइक एयरक्राफ्ट इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स एयरक्राफ्ट रेडियो इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स रेडर्स लाइटिंग पर्पज एंड सम अदर इसेंशियल सर्विसेज इन आवर एयरक्राफ्ट These inverters are usually built to supply current for a frequency at 400 hertz supply. As we know, the standard supply in our aircraft is 400 hertz, but some are some of the inverters are designed to provide more than one voltage. For example, 26 volt AC in one binding and 115 volt in another binding. As in our aircraft, the standard supply is 115 volt 400 hertz uh, three phase. But some of the consumers are there in our aircraft. They are getting 26 volt AC, 28 volt DC. So different uh, consumers are getting different power, and we can design inverter uh, to provide different powers, like 115 volt 400 hertz, 26 volt AC, and so on. So friends, there are two basic type of inverters. First is rotary, and second is static inverter. Either type can be single phase or multi phase, but one thing is very common, and I would like to say here the multi phase inverter is lighter, uh, lighter in weight for the same power rating compared to the single phase inverter. So, let us discuss one by one. First is rotary inverter. Rotary inverter consists of DC motor AC generator. Uh, there are many size, shape, type and configuration of rotary inverter. Such inverters are essentially consist of AC generator, DC motors. So generator field or armature and the motor field and armature are mounted on the common shape that rotates within the one housing. One common type of rotary inverter is permanent magnet inverter. And another type of inverter is inductor type rotary inverter. So permanent magnet inverter is a composed of a DC motor and a permanent magnet AC generator assembly. Friends, each has a separate stator mounted within a common housing. The motor armature is mounted on a rotor and connected to the DC supply through a commutator and press assembly. The motor field winding are mounted on the housing and connected directly to the DC supply. And the permanent magnet rotor is mounted at the opposite end of the same shaft as the motor armature and the stator winding are mounted on the housing allowing AC to be taken from the inverter without the use of presses or any sliding contacts. Friends, inductor type rotary inverter use a rotor made of soft iron laminations with grooves cut literally across the surface to provide poles that corresponds to the number of stator poles. The field coil are bound on one set of stationary pole and the AC armature coils on other set of stationary poles. When DC is supplied to the field coils, a magnetic field is produced. Friends, the number of poles and speed of motor determine the frequency of this type of inverter. Whatever we are getting output from this inverter, the frequency of output will depend on the number of poles and the speed of the motor rpm friends second type of inverter is uh, static inverter which is mostly used in our new generation aircraft there are so many reasons why we are mostly use static inverter in our aircraft we will discuss later on so in many aircraft applications where continuous dc voltages must be converted into alternating voltages we are adopting a static inverter in place of rotary inverters. Uh, friends, in rotary inverter, there are dynamic parts. So there are friction, losses, noise, 
and they are not reliable maintenance would be required at a fixed re regular interval of time but here in case of a static inverter solid state component will be used there is there are no dynamic part at all in this static inverter uh, the component like dc regulators will be used to regulate the available dc voltage and forward to the sine wave uh, square wave oscillator it will uh, convert into sine wave and forward it will forward to the buffer amplifier it's also a solid state com component and amplifier amplifier will amplify the available signal and further it pass to the filter circuit it will filter out and pass to the uh, external circuit from where we can get ac output so my dear friends uh, the rapid progress made by the semiconductor industry is extending the range of applications of such type of equipment into the voltage and power ranges that would have been impractical for a few years ago the use of static inverter in small aircraft has increased rapidly in the last few years and the technology has the advantage and advanced to the point that static inverters are available for a requirements filled by the rotary inverters so mostly everywhere you will see in aircraft in all kind of aircraft static inverters are being used this type of equipment has a certain advantages for aircraft applications particularly the absence of moving parts and the adaptability to conduction of cooling in solid state com state components uh, as i have discussed there are uh, no moving parts so uh, less amount of heat will be generated and the <coughs> cooling method which we adopting in static inverters that is conduction cooling so inverter static inverter referred to as solid state inverter are manufactured in wide range of types models that can be classified by the shape of aircraft output waveform and power output uh, capabilities friends static inverter are used solid state components so they are considerably smaller in size more compact in design and much lighter in weight than rotary inverter because of this uh, features these kind of uh, inverters mostly used in our new generation aircraft depending on the output power rating requirement static inverters that are no longer than a typical air speed indicator can be used in our aircraft systems some of the features of static inverters are like higher frequency low maintenance uh, long life no warm up period is required just switch on you will start getting output capable of starting under load extremely quiet operation no noise would be there as there are no moving part extremely quiet operation means once you will switch up, switch on the inverter you will start getting output with, without any kind of noise and without any kind of interruption fast response to load changes that means if load will be changed uh output will not be uh, much more affected so static inverter are commonly used to provide power for such frequency sensitive instruments as the uh, attitude gyro directional gyro in aircraft they also provide power for autos in magnets in indicators and transmitters rate gyro radar and other airborne applications so friends these are the features because of the static inverter mostly adopted in our new generation aircraft and in other aircraft also so friends this video was based on aircraft inverter you can like and share this video for encouragement you can subscribe this channel thank you so much for watching this video thank you